Hello, I'm Matthew Connor. This week's drill we're going to focus on visualisation and selecting the correct club when you're chipping. I'd just like to thank everyone for downloading my Ultimate Golf Coach app. I've had lots of five star reviews now, so if you are keen to improve your golf, then download my app today. Let's go. Before you hit any shots you need three piles of balls, one at five yards, one at 15 and one at 25 yards away from the green. Then I want you to place the head cover down about a yard on the green, pretty much on the line where you're going to hit the ball on. Now that, the head cover, is your landing area. So the idea is I want you to try and focus on using a club that's going to get you to land around that landing area and then run up towards the flag. So I think it's going to be about six iron for this shot, so I've got six iron first. Just take my normal setup, so now I'm focusing on trying to land it at this area and then run up to that furthest flag. So I'll try this first one. So that was a good first one because what's happened, the ball's landed where I wanted it to and pretty much finished level with the flag. So it shows I've selected the correct club. Now, maybe what had happened if it landed where I wanted it to and it finished past, then I would have used the wrong club. So if it finished past, then I would probably need to go a little bit more loft, uh, maybe to a seven iron, and vice versa. If it landed where I wanted it to and finished short, then I would need to have gone with less loft, maybe five iron. So now once you've practiced it from five yards from the green, then I want you to move back to 15 yards from the green. Once you've moved back to 15 yards, I still want you to aim for the same flag and still land the ball in the same area. Now, because you're further back, you've got more inconsistent grass to hit over. So what happens if it lands short, it's hard to control your bounce. So you're always trying to land the ball on the green so you can control the bounce. But you don't want to land it too far away because your landing area is only small. It's harder to hit when it's further away. So now I'm still aiming for that yard on the green and then hopefully then I can read the rest of the shot like a putt so I can then hit the ball closer. So now I visualise the, the shot being played with a nine so I'm still trying to focus on landing it just that yard on the green. So I've landed that one perfectly but it's finished a long way past so I've used the wrong club. So now if I use more maybe like a pitching wedge hopefully now I'm going to land the ball in the same area but with that little bit more loft it's not going to run out as far and it's going to hopefully finish level with the flag. So that was a perfect club because the ball's landed where I wanted it to and then run up and finish level with the flag. Now I want you to move further back towards the 25 yards, but now because you're further back from the green, you have to create more loft to carry over that inconsistent grass. Now with this drill, you are going to have to practice it a lot, but once you get used to it, it is going to improve your visualisation and club selection when you're chipping. Thanks for watching.